Hello there. In this video, maybe a bonus video, additional video, we are going to look at how to deal uh, with Hooke's Law and also the Young Modulus Ratio when we have composite rods or multiple springs. Okay, so let's first recall what Hooke's Law is and what the Young Modulus Ratio is. Okay, so first one, if we remember the basics of Hooke's Law, it is force is proportional to x. But the working equation is f is equal to kx, where k here is your spring constant. Okay. All right. For any uh, material that obey Hooke's law, it doesn't have to be a spring, it can be a piece of wire. Okay. And there is also the Young modulus ratio. So E will be equal to stress over strain, sigma over epsilon, or F over A, E, L. Okay, so this E is extension. If you want to, you can replace with X. So notice that in both cases, there's extension, meaning we expect the material to deform. Okay, and number two, <clears throat> we also expect uh, we're going to deform it by applying some force. So let's force it. Okay. So the focus of this video is just basically to teach you or to discuss how should you go about dealing with uh, different, different types of arrangement of multiple rods, multiple metals, or multiple sprigs. So in the first scenario that you see beside my head is a case where we place the spring or the composite rod, okay, in series. I mean, series is such a technical term. Basically, it's one after the other. Okay. So it's in series. Okay. But there's no new equation. It's just how do you look at it only. Okay. So let's look at the spring first. Well, this is spring one. This is spring number two. Okay. And then this is my load. Let's say the load uh, exerts a force of F. Okay. Extending or pulling the spring down. And here there is, uh, let's say this is the spring with spring constant K1. And this is spring, spring constant K2. Okay. So the important thing to understand here is that if let's say you are spring 1, what are you supporting? You are supporting spring 2 and the load. Okay. So the first one here, the first idea here is spring 1. Support the load and spring two, but I'm going to assume that the weight of spring two is negligible, okay? And K2 will support the load as well. So is there any uh, sharing of forces? No. It's a bit like I carry a bag, but, some, but I sit on the car. So the car carry me and also carry the bag that I'm carrying, all right? So basically, the idea here is that the load is not being shared and this spring will have an extension of, let's say, x1. This spring will have an extension of x2. So the whole idea here is uh, both springs support the load. Support F, okay, or have the force of F. And because of this, x1 plus x2 is equal to total extension. That's all. Of course, sometimes they can ask you to find the total spring constant. You can see how I do that when I do an example later in a different video. But if this is already good enough for you to operate, because from here, I know f is equal to kx, right? So this one, I can write this one as f1 over k1 plus f2 over k2 is F, the total F, which is F1 and F2. So they all have the same force. Same force. So all this F can cancel one. Okay, this one is over K. So you will have one over K is one over K1 plus one over K2. Now I normally don't use this equation um, unless they ask me to derive it. Lah. Okay, like what I'm doing now. Because these two main ideas is good enough for me. Because I don't like to memorize new stuff. Okay, so what about a composite rod? Let's look at the rod beside this. You can compare them side by side. 
So there's steel and there's brass. The force in the steel bar, okay, is still 40 Newton because you're stretching it together. The force in the brass bar is also 40 Newton. Okay? So it's similar to the spring law. All right. And when you exert that force, maybe the steel bar has a young modulus of ES for steel, and maybe the brass has a young modulus EB for brass. You know that this one will have an extension. Let's say I call this XS for steel, and this extension is XB for brass. So we are still using the same ideas. Number one, um, both rods or both metal or both material have the force or the tension as 40 Newton. Okay? And the second one would be the extension of steel plus the extension of brass will be equal to the total extension. And then after that, you can look at your Young Modulus equation here. Okay, so if I rearrange this, I will have extension is equal to F over L, I mean FL over EA, electronic arts. Okay, so you can just put this one inside here. Lah. And I guess you can simplify if you want to, but there is really no need to. So I'm just going to write this here for completion's sake. You can put FL over EA for steel plus FL over Young Modulus cross-sectional area for brass. Yes, I can have a very thick steel bar and a slightly thinner brass bar. You don't have to have the same area. But the idea is still the same. Okay, It's just that we are operating on a different equation. All right, so this is what you do when your rods are in series versus parallel. Okay, so the whole idea is they will both support the force because it's one after the other, they both experience the same force. Okay, and the extension of the first spring and the second spring or the first rod and the second rod is your total extension. But what happens when we place the spring in the next arrangement? Okay, next we're going to look at uh, arrangement in parallel. So you will see that there are two different types of arrangement. There's a spring one first for your reference. And then sometimes we can place uh, multiple rods to support like a heavy object like this one. Okay. So instinctively, you will know that when things are arranged side by side, they support the weight together. All right. So let's say this load is still a force of F. Each spring will have F over 2, F over 2. They share the load. Okay. So the main idea number 1, load is uh, shared. Okay. If we compare to this one, both spring will support F. Whereas this one, each spring will take F over 2. So like if you look at the steel wire, it's the same idea. Here, this 200 kg weight, right? But it just means that you support 50 kg. You support 50 kg. Everybody support 50 kg each. Pretty nice. Okay. So in this case, since the load is shared, right? I can then uh, form the equation that the force in spring 1, I'm just going to call this 1 and 2, F1 plus F2 is equal to F. So if they are identical wires, like the steel wire or they are identical spring, then it will be half-half. Okay? So granted that uh, it may not be half-half. Okay? It, it is half-half only if both springs are identical. If the springs are not identical, then it is a certain ratio. Okay, so F1 plus F2 is F. And then from here, because you know F is equal to Kx, so you can write K1x1 plus K2x2 is equal to the total Kx. Okay, and because they are arranged parallel, right, they should go down together. Okay, so they will have the same extension. X2, this is X1. Okay, so the load is shared and the extension x2 is equal to x1.
Okay, so if we put it into an equation, F1 plus F2 is F because they share the load, and I can put K1X1, K2X2 is total uh, spring constant, total extension, and the spring constants are all equal, so I can just chop them away. So finally, the spring constant, the final spring constant is just the sum. Okay, so let's compare this with the series arrangement. This thing is easier to extend. Okay, so in series, generally speaking, the system is easier to extend. You need less force for the same extension. Whereas parallel is more stable. It's harder. You need more force to extend. Okay. So like, for example, the same thing will happen uh, in your platform. So in this case, I can just take one rod because uh, I know the forces are equal. If the if let's say I go and put steel, steel, brass, brass, because I want to save money, then you still operate on this one. If not, then it's just equally shared 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay. So if it's the same wire, it will have the same force. So I can just take one wire only. If it's the same material or same spring, okay, then I can say that uh, I'll just take one wire. F will be equal to 200 times 9.81 divided by 4, 50 kg. Okay, and then after that, you just operate as usual. See what the question wants. All right. So the main idea here is if they are parallel, the load is shared, the extension is equal. If they are series, the load is equal, the extension is total. Okay, you need to sum up the extension. If you understand this, this is that's all you need to know. So go try out some examples. Look at uh look out for past year questions that have different materials in series. Same uh, different material in parallel, same material in parallel. Look out for the spring examples. All right, pretty easy stuff. We use force and then we need to decide what material and how to place and arrange our material for maximum efficiency. That's, that's all engineering cares about. All right. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.